bruv, you are having a bubble. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to Flashback FIFA, the series where we go back and look at previous Ultimate Team cards and in these episodes recently we've been looking at four teams now. The team requested quite a lot in the comments of my other videos was the Manchester United team of 2008 where they won the Champions League. There was also the 1999 treble winning team and I might get to that in future episodes. So if you want to see that drop a like on this video and suggest teams. But before we get started if you're looking for very cheap and instant Ultimate Team is make sure you check out fifacoinstock.com their link will be down in the description as always but i just quickly want to ask you guys do you want to see a road to glory style series except this time i'm going to actually have a main aim at the end of it which is to get the full arsenal invincibles team obviously minus one player which is Laron, who is currently not available in ultimate team well i'll start from scratch basically and work my way all the way up to that team which will cost around eight million coins maybe i'll start with one legend just to make it interesting right from the start so let me know if you do want to see that but we'll move into this video now and this is manchester united and remember lads i am a Leeds fan so this is quite hard for me to do but I'm not going to ignore what you guys want to see so I'm going to leave the bias out completely in this video so Leeds fans I'll be talking quite nicely about Manchester United players here just for this video so we have Anderson who I'm not going to talk nicely about because he's absolutely shit in real life but he had this card back in FIFA 2008 actually is a pretty decent card reminds me of Fernandinho's card from this year who plays for Manchester City but we'll move quickly on from him because he's not too much of an important player there's Ben Foster there used to be playing for Manchester United back then. He's pretty much had the same rating, the same card stats. He's now playing for West Brom, doing pretty well. Actually come back from injury recently, which was great. Gerard Piquet was there, 72 rated silver. I mean, look at him now, 86 rated at Barcelona. One of the best centre-backs in the world, in my opinion. Well, he's kind of drifted off a bit in recent years, but before that, he was an absolute rock. But yeah, he was playing for Manchester United. Didn't really get too many games in, only a few. He was sent off to Real Zaragoza on loan. I believe for a, for a season I think where he played CDM for a bit as well but the next player is Nani and as you can see by his flag he was not Portuguese at the time he had a split nationality I believe from the Cape Island so yeah that's why his flag is completely different to what you would normally see on FIFA which is a Portugal flag but that was his rating 83 as he is 83 rated now, he's been up to 87 in a few FIFAs, I believe, in FIFA 12. I think he was 87. I mean, he went up to that high and now he's going back down because Man United don't seem to be playing him enough. So, we'll move on to the starting 11 now. And in goal, we do have Van der Sar, who has a legend card in this FIFA. So, they are his legend card stats and probably what his stats would have been back then too. Because he was an absolutely amazing goalkeeper. He played for Fulham for quite a few years too. Manchester United took him and he's just he was just amazing let's just leave it at that and i wish i could try that legend card to be honest i bet it's pretty much unbeatable goalkeepers in ultimate team in my opinion are just terrible but gary neville again has a legend card so i'm going to keep his stats exactly the same working for sky sports now he's now a commentator and a pundit doing a pretty good job at first i wasn't too keen i thought what is this guy doing on here but he actually talks a lot of sense to be honest and him and jamie carragher are jokes on sky sports together always arguing it's just hilarious to watch but you know that is Sky Sports having a bit of banter on there for you. So we'll move on now to the first centre-back of this team. And it is Nemanja Vidic. 85 rated he was back then. 93 heading. Just absolutely insane. 85 defending and 75 pace which is just mental imagine that card with 75 pace and shit i'll just drop something off my desk so ignore that sorry about that but yeah we'll move on now to the next center back who is rio ferdinand now i'm gonna have to say something here because he did play for leeds and yeah he left for manchester united for 30 million pounds i believe that is when Leeds pretty much went downhill. I mean, they were just selling off players left, right and centre. But Rio went to Manchester United. Obviously, going from one place straight to a rival is not good. Especially with Leeds fans. He's pretty much hated by all of us. But look at them stats. Just insane. 79 pace, 90 defending and 89 heading on that card. It's just ridiculous. Obviously, he's getting older now. So his stats are decreasing every single year on FIFA. And it's the same with this guy here, Patrice Evra, who was 78 rated back in FIFA 08 with 90 pace actually if you look at them stats they're very very similar to Gail Clichy stats 
But yeah, his card right now, I think he's got like 78 pace or something. But we'll move on now to the main man of this team, who is Cristiano Ronaldo, the best player in the world probably at this moment in time. And he's definitely going to win the Ballon d'Or in my opinion. But he had the stats of 94 pace, 95 dribbling and only 85 shooting back then. I mean, this is the season he actually stepped up and scored 42 goals. And this was the main season where he started to show he was the world's best for sure. And that season, obviously winning the Champions League, just being a standout player, scoring the free kicks left, right and centre. He was just absolutely awesome that season. Man United fans still love him, of course. I'm not sure if he'll ever come back. I think his heart's now set on Real Madrid. Obviously, he's been he's become an even better player at Real Madrid as well. I mean, the players around him have been awesome too. But that is Cristiano Ronaldo, 91 rated. And in midfield next to him, he had Paul Scholes, the passing master. The guy who pulled the strings pretty much. I mean, as Gary Neville once explained, you know, players like Scholes, players like Xavi and players like Pirlo are hard to come by. And they are the main players of the team. Pretty much everything goes through them they are the general pretty much and Paul Scholes was an absolutely fantastic player for um, Manchester United obviously he retired then come back and then re retired again last season but he did an awesome job for United and those were his stats in a FIFA away 85 rated but we'll move on to the next central midfielder who is Michael Carrick and obviously he's he's kind of like the Paul Scholes role but not good enough in my opinion not as good as him nowhere near but he's still a great player for Man United of course he's got some great stats in his FIFA 08 card and it's just all around balance to be honest with 77 defending and 86 passing is awesome but we'll move on to the left midfielder of the team the legend who is Ryan Giggs 40 years old and still going that is just unbelievable I mean as a Leeds fan you've still got to take your hat off to him for lasting that long I know he's done shit I mean um, I'll leave you to research that stuff but you know fans give him stick for it and whatnot but still you can't doubt this guy's footballing ability he was just absolutely awesome back in the day still is still going right now which is just crazy and yeah 82 pace 86 dribbling and 86 passing on that card and obviously now he's moved into more of a central role and his card in ultimate team is a center attack in mid I believe this year but We'll move on right now to Wayne Rooney, who was 90 rated back then. He's always been pretty highly rated in FIFA. I mean, he's 87 currently at the moment, having an awesome season so far, in my opinion. A lot of people won't agree with that, but, you know, he's he's putting in the shifts. This guy, I mean, he's a definition of high, high work rates. This guy will just run up and down the pitch all day long. Got awesome passing, great shooting, and in FIFA 08, he was 90 rated with 87 pace, which was just mental. And I can imagine that card being so expensive in this year's Ultimate Team because he was so fast, he would have had great strength, amazing shooting, amazing dribbling. He even had skills back in them FIFAs, I believe he had four or five star skills, which are just crazy. But we'll move on now to the last player of the team, who is Carlos Tevez. And he was the striker up front with Wayne Rooney. Of course, there had other strikers like Luis Saha, but he's not an ultimate team, so I couldn't show you his card in this video. But Carlos Tevez was up there. He was 88 rated with them stats. And again, he's another player who just doesn't stop working for, for the team, pretty much. I know he had that lazy thing going with Manchester City where he didn't go off the bench, but still, when this guy's on the pitch, he'll run around everywhere. He's, he's the definition of a bulldog. Obviously, that's his saying in FIFA. The commentators always say, Carlos Tevez with his bulldog-like approach, and that is how you explain how Carlos Tevez plays. But there we have it, guys. That is the full United team from 2008. It was absolutely incredible, to be honest. I'm a Leeds fan. This is hard coming from me, but, you know, it was a great team, Ronaldo, obviously. And the next season, obviously, they had players like Berbatov join them, and, you know, they were just a force. And unfortunately right now they're just not what they used to be in my opinion let me know what you think of man united's current situation should they give Moyes more time and personally i think they should i mean managers should be given much more time than usual these days they're sacked within a few months which is which is just mental to be honest but i'm just going to leave the video there guys hope you enjoyed this remember to suggest teams for me to cover in the next episode drop a like subscribe if you're not subscribed and i will see you soon take care